hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video it's gonna be a little different i'm just gonna be hopefully short hopefully it's really really short um just answering some questions um about sephora squad if you don't know i had it in my community tab i think yesterday or two days ago um applications went up march 9th so if it's something that you were interested in doing something you've always like been curious about um do it go for it because it's really a great experience and an amazing program it has literally changed my life my influencer life um so to speak and um I told people to ask me some questions and then I'll just go off of things like whatever questions they ask me. I'll try to expand upon it. I don't want to say I'll give you tips and tricks because it's not really like something you have to go out of your way to do. It's just honestly about being authentic. So um, a couple of questions I got from Ashley. She said I have my phone here because that's where all the questions are. Um, she said... Do you find that thousand testimonials are your best way of having a shot? And then she had another one. So I'm going to answer that first. Um, it doesn't matter. You can have 10,000 depending, depending on how many followers you have, um, which is number one. Sephora squad does not care about how many followers, followers you had. I will link um, or somewhere up here in the card of when I was telling you guys that I made Sephora Squad for the first year ever, four years ago. Oh my God, four years ago. I I literally can't believe it. Wow. Because this is the fourth Sephora Squad this year, this, you know, this 2022. So um, for the first year, I had originally applied and um, I didn't know they were going to have like a... a different type of questions or applications for uh, Sephora employees. So I applied. I didn't think anything of it. I just, you know, I asked people for testimonials and then my account got hacked. So I started a new account and then I had to reapply again, which was for, you know, the employees. So it worked out well, um, like, you know, the discrepancy. However, my first year, I think I had 15 or 20 testimonials and I didn't, I didn't even make, I think, I didn't even make it past 200 followers yet, but I was authentic to myself. I was true to myself. I, you know, I think the testimonials that people left me, even though it wasn't a lot, it wasn't 50, um, it wasn't even 25. I know it was not 25. Um, I think the, what people were saying and, um, what my page showed because, you know, so far it is all about wellness and beauty and just, you know, all about like yourself, uh, I don't want to say self-preservation, but you know, Sephora it's like beauty, fragrance, makeup style. If you have, if you, if that's in your wheelhouse of things, um, this would be a right program for you. So that's, that was something that I already had on my channel and on my, um, on my YouTube, not my YouTube, <laughs> on my Instagram page, because that's really what they were tracking. That's where, um, you know, they look at other things, but Needless to say, you don't need a thousand. I didn't even have 25. I didn't have 50. You just have to be true to yourself and your page. And also, you know, this program, like, I'm trying to see how I can say it. You have to understand you being authentic to you also means this is still a program, right? If you still have to have some type of, um, let me not say that. I was going to say you have to have some type of decorum. But you, it, listen, if you're yourself, that shines through. They're not trying to um, make you shy away from who you are. But don't then start posting. Like, don't start posting stuff that has nothing to do with you. Or don't do it. Don't, don't now just start posting stuff because you apply for Sephora Squad and then if you make it, you stop doing that because it's still, like I said, nice program, but you, there's still things that you have to do. So you have to keep that in mind. Her second question was, any suggestion on what what more I could do to be seen? I promise I could read. <laughs> um, 
honestly, as long as you have good testimonials and as long as the people that make the t- decision of you being part of Sephora squad, as long as, you know, all of those things align and then they see your page and they see that this person will fit well in the program or, you know, this is something they can bring. You don't have to do anything to go out of your way for people to see you. Because even if you get seen by people that have not known you before and they start following you, how authentic is it for them to leave a testimonial if they've never really experienced your channel, your blog, your Instagram, or your TikTok, you know? Like, you're not going to ask random strangers for testimonials. So it's not really about being seen. Now, if you want people to come to your page just to, like... Um, like your content, just keep doing you. Not everybody's going to like your content. The people that are meant to like your content and leave you testimonials, they will do that because that's the stuff that matters. You know, these are the people that will listen to your recommendations. These are the people that may ask you for advice. Um, the people that are meant for your tribe, they will come to you. You don't have to go out and seek anybody else. Like, you know, this year I'm joining as a launch partner, which I still can't, I cannot believe that. Um, you know, I still don't have 2000 followers. You know, I do things. If I get overwhelmed with social media, I take a little break. Um, I try not to overwhelm myself. And because I have like a full-time hours job working for Sephora. So I, <laughs> I, I can't kill myself, you know? So I take it day by day. There's some times where I have so much content in my phone. I'm like, oh my God, I need to post that and I'll forget. Just take things at your own pace, set goals for yourself. um, Because I always feel like I could do more, I could do better. And I feel like this is the year that's going to, you know, I'm going to propel. So you don't have to get or force people to like see you. Just keep doing you. The people that are meant to follow you, they will. This person is just asking me like if I have any criticism on their social media and advice Uh, i don't really have criticism i'm not gonna go on your page and criticize you um just as long as what you're posting is in line with sephora like if you're talking all about shoes and you're solely fashion sephora squad is not gonna be for you you know like you can like makeup but if you're not really talking about like wellness, skincare, fragrances, beauty, makeup, things of that nature, hair, um, and you're just like fashion, like just fashion, stuff like that is not going to, you know, this is the niche of the Sephora world. So if you have that type of understanding, you will know this program is for you. But if you're more about fashion or anything that doesn't have to do with Sephora, you're just not, it's not it doesn't align. You know what I'm saying? It's not that they don't like you. It just doesn't align with what the program is because you are going to be doing, um, do I want to call it sponsorships? You are going to be doing, um, like paid posts, like, you know, um, let's see. Someone else asked me something. Oh my God. I saw it here. Badu asks, how was my experience? My ex- experience has been great. It's been amazing. Um, if it wasn't, I wouldn't like keep reapplying. And thankfully this year, I made Sephora Squad as a launch partner. Um, but my first year, the experience was really amazing because this was pre-COVID and we were able to experience like amazing things. We were, um, If you didn't like already live in LA, um, we got to travel. Um, to LA, but I'm saying we got to travel, but it was still work, you know. Um, we had Sephora, which was an amazing experience. Sephora was an amazing, awesome experience. Um, I got to meet, meet Patrick Ta, Natasha Denona, uh, Patrick Star. Um, oh my god, I met so many people. An editor there was able to uh take a picture of me and another squad sister we were on essence because of that our like our picture was on there um i met like it was such an amazing experience like the first year sephora squad people like those are like still people i'm cool with today um you know when you go over there you get like 
to work with Sephora like one on one, which is so, <laughs> so amazing. Um, I got to meet the founders of Youth to the People. And before that, I already love Youth to the People. So that was an amazing experience. The um, founders of Virtue, the hair products, um, Skylar, the founder of Skylar. Um, just like really every time we traveled, it was always a learning experience. It was fun, but it was still, it was an, it was an amazing experience and I'm glad to be part of it. And then like, I don't know the second year and this past year, everything was mostly digital. Um, and then through that, because you're part of Sephora squad, you know, certain brands will be like, Oh, this person is part of Sephora Squad. They also align with our brand. Um, that brand may probably reach out to you. And then offshore, you can work with that brand. So that's when I say like my life has literally changed because of Sephora Squad, because some of these brands probably would have never been able to see me if Sephora themselves have not put my face on their brand or if we were not like in calls with like um, brands like JLo, um, Makeup by Mario, like just being able to chat with them um, and hear the joy of when they were creating the products that they were creating and things of that nature. So it was just like, I'm sure everyone's experience is different, but that was my experience, you know? And she also asks tips of do's and don'ts during the application process. Um, don't I don't know just <laughs> I don't know I don't know I don't because I need to drink some coffee I think from what I know Sephora champions you being yourself if you like deviate from what you already do I think one, your audience will be able to see that. Sephora will be able to see that. Um, and, you know, they work extensively. Extens ex you know what I'm trying to say. Why am I getting tongue-tied? On, you know, looking at your page. Be yourself. There's no, like, do's and don'ts. Just don't, like, don't be disrespectful to the brand. Um, because well, why, why would you need to be, <laughs> um, be authentically yourself. Don't say or do anything crazy off the wall that just would not be acceptable anywhere. Think of it as like you applying for a job and the job is looking at your social media. Think of it like that. That's what I would say. Um, because you, you, whatever you do, you will still be representing Sephora when you make it on there so you don't want to act a fool you know what I'm saying so that's basically what I would say I don't think you would be um I don't think there would be like a don't don't beside besides what I just said just don't make a fool of yourself be true to yourself what I will say is don't get um make sure how can I word this? Make sure the testimonials you're getting are from real emails. The do's I will say is remind everybody every day on your Instagram, whatever social media platform you have, post it every day. Some To you, it might seem like you're annoying your audience, but that's not the case. Because if they keep seeing it over and over and over and over, and I think maybe they can leave you multiple testimonials. Like one person can leave you multiple testimonials, but do not one use like a spammy email or any, don't make up emails just to <laughs> leave testimonials for you. Like I said, it's not the amount of testimonials. It's what people are saying about how you've helped them, how you've assisted them, how you've, you know, contributed to their beauty, skincare, hair advice, routine, whatever. Um, just don't falsify an email address just to get testimonials. Um, but do remind people because you may think you're being annoying and they've seen it every day, but some people might forget. Some people are like, oh, I need to leave her a testimonial. I need to leave him a testimonial, but I forgot. And then the next time they see it, they'll remember. And, you know, if you, let's say you're a makeup artist and you want to be part of Sephora Squad. 
anybody, especially your repeat clients, anybody that has sat in your chair, if you're an esthetician, anyone that you've done any kind of beauty work with for hair, fragrance, whatever, if you work for the company, if you work for Sephora, if you work for Sephora, you already know. You, I don't want to say you have an upper hand, but you know, especially if you're a beauty advisor or um, licensed beauty advisor, people that have sat in your chairs um, and maybe you have some kind of rapport with and they have your Instagram, just DM them like, hey, I'm entering this um, program for Sephora. Um, would you please leave me a testimonial? It doesn't have to be this long spiel. Just, you know. My first year, that's, I think that's also what helped me in my first year. Um, when I was living in DC, you know, like, and it was like, maybe my stores that I was working at was like close to Howard University. So for me, like I had a lot of clients. So every time, like I had a client and they'll be like, oh, I would like to hire you outside of here if I have something going on. And then they had my Instagram or they had my number. And when that time came, I was able to like send them a DM like, hey, I'm entering Sephora Squad. Um, it's basically an influencer program for Sephora. Uh, <laughs> for Sephora. My card was full. I had to like delete some, um, some videos. Um, I, I don't remember what I was saying, but what basically I think I was trying to say, reach out to people that you've done makeup for, um, even if you don't work for Sephora, anybody you've done makeup for, your repeat clients, anybody that you've done hair for, anybody that you, you know, you do their skin all the time if you're an esthetician, um, just whatever in your beauty realm, people that you talk about fragrances to all the time, if you love fragrance and you know, <laughs> I can tell you that Maison, Francis, Curtis Jean, his brand is great. We don't have it at Sephora. However, you can smell Burberry her because he was the nose to that. If you can just talk about certain things like to people and they love that fragrance, I'm saying like for an example, if you work at Sephora or any of your friends that you recommend stuff to all the time, just tell them to leave you a testimonial. Like, hey, I know that you like uh, fragrance recommendations from me. Could you please leave me a testimonial on how... I help you with your fragrances or, you know, I recommended you getting a Dyson because I'm a hairstylist and I think it's really amazing. And, um, or what's the other one? I don't have hair, so I can't really use a lot of hair reference. I keep saying makeup and also because I'm a makeup artist, I keep using makeup as, as an example, but whatever applies to you, even if you listen, even if you do nails, that's part of it. Some stores, some Sephora stores have, um, nail polish or maybe they took them out. But if you're a nail person, Sephora sells um, nail polish, like Nails Inc. and Deborah, Deborah Lipman and stuff like that online. We have manicure, just like stuff that has that's related with beauty that you know you can speak to, you know, something that you're, in, you don't have to be an expert, but you're really, really great at it. And it's something that you're passionate about. Because honestly, if you're not passionate about any of these things and you have, you get um, a campaign, how can I trust you? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So like these are things that you'd be passionate about and people can speak to your passions, how you're able to, everyone is different. Like I talk a lot and I don't mind that I talk a lot. So I can go on and on. You know, even my manager said this about to, about me the other day. Like I really, y'all, it might be an obsession, but the way I love makeup, <laughs> the way I love makeup, you know, when you see those, um, what do you call it? Those pictures like on Instagram, there were different. The meme was like, how do you take your coffee? And I thought they were concealers. Like it was from like the lightest to the darkest. And I thought they were concealers and it was coffee. <laughs> That's how much I love makeup. Okay. If I see stuff like that, I automatically think about makeup. When I see like color, I automatically think about makeup, like color theory, makeup, like anything. Like you see how I'm coordinating. I had to give you a monochromatic moment. I knew this purple background was still here. I was trying to do, um, what do you call it? Uh, Women's Month purple. I'm, I'm trying to do that for the whole month. That's besides the point. But whatever you're passionate about, like I can literally, I can talk to you about makeup all day. 
I can anytime something new is coming out. Now, after I use it, I may not be excited because it wasn't that great. But I love makeup. And my manager the other day literally said to me, every time she sees that I see new makeup coming out, I get so excited that she wants me to share that excitement with people. Wow, my phone fell. That's the excitement I want you to share with people when you're talking about anything that you love. Um, so when you're coming across on your socials, when you're talking about a product, make sure you actually care. Don't let it be something that's forced, um, that you're just like, oh, let me talk about this. Because that shows. Like when someone lacks enthusiasm for something that they're talking about. I'm not saying if you don't have a, a what's the word? An extroverted personality. Like everyone has their own thing. Like I talk a lot. I'm very extroverted. And I literally, if it comes to like a fragrance product or makeup, I can, I will yap, 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 yap all day because it's just something that I like that brings me joy. So find that thing in the beauty sphere of Sephora. And um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. I think that was all the questions. It wasn't a lot. I A lot of people DM'd me and I told them to ask me questions or maybe I, I think I missed some. I think I missed some. I don't remember. But um, let us continue the conversation in the comment section. Maybe I can do a part two if y'all watch this video and you're like, she didn't really answer the questions maybe that I had. If I have enough questions, I may do a part two. But there's no like tips or tricks. Um. You don't have to do crazy things to get into the program. Just be yourself. Be passionate about what you're talking about. Um, actually care about it. And the perks are amazing. They're really amazing. And you know, this has literally changed everything for me. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, comment <laughs> leave me any questions that you have if i see that it's like more than three or four questions that are not um repeats i will do another video i'll probably do it though while i'm putting on my makeup and talking about just everything in general and i will link i'll have a card here where i think i was talking about the first year i made it and you can see what i talked about there so watch this video. After you watch this video, watch that video. If none of it is answered in there, then come back to this video. Leave me any questions. And don't forget to post testimonials or don't forget to post on your stories for people to leave you testimonials every day. Every day, okay? Every single day until it's the last day. Every single day. And if you, leave the, if you need the link, you were thinking about applying i'll leave it at the in the description box and you can also find it in my community tab okay now i'm just rambling and i'll see you in the next video